spirit, understand, it's not a curse to be able to speak to the dead. It's a gift that just might save our lives. You don't know what it's like, Lakota. Well, what is it like to see our ancestors? First, it gets extremely cold. Then you get a little bit dizzy. Things start to look blurry. Then they appear and their voice echoes. Experience. Spirit, you must realize you're not talking to any ancestors. These are the four founders of our herd. There was Sebastian, the leader of the herd. Jupiter, Melinda, and Sapphire. They lived in a valley centuries ago. It was supposed to be a perfect place for horses. With steep hills all around it to keep the enemies out. But the real trick of keeping the enemies out was the way of getting into the valley. The entrance into the valley was located in the mountains. It was also extremely hard to find. It was so narrow that an animal bigger than a horse couldn't fit through. Plus, intruders can easily get lost. Since there were so many twists and turns in the route, Spirit leads the herd out by nightfall. We have to split up. Come on, Emmett. Time is running out. Lakota, where are you? Well, Athena! Uh, Athena, help! Wait. Help, I'm slipping through the thorns. So, so am I. Tessa, Tessa, where are you? Wake up, the storm's coming. Everything's dried out. There's nothing to eat. Eat it, Sierra. It's the last food you'll have for a while. No, you take it. Ancestors of the Herd. Ancestors of the Herd.